Do you do boxing or MMA training for fitness or competition? Well, if so, you'll know that these sports are giving you a full body workout. And when you're using your full body in anything you do, I'm sure you'll agree this increases the chance of picking up an injury. If you have an injury or you've had an injury in the past, then this video is for you. I'm gonna give you some tips on how to recover fast from injuries so you can get back to doing what you love. I'm also married to Olympic bronze medalist and former professional boxer whose career ended due to injuries. So I have a lot of experience in this area and I know that it's very rare for a fighter to get into the ring 100% injury free. There's often something going on. Also, at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you one thing that you can do to prevent a lot of these injuries that I see. And this will also make you perform better in training too. So hang around for that. My name is Sarah Jeffries. I'm a registered nurse here in Los Angeles, California with experience in emergency room nursing and education. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For more videos like this, subscribe and turn your notifications on so you don't miss any more videos. Before we move on, I have to add this video is not for a replacement of medical treatment. So first of all, if you have a severe injury that's causing you intense pain and you're not able to move around and get out of bed, seek medical advice. We only have one body and we need to take care of it. Now, the first piece of advice is often overlooked, but in my opinion, it's the most important and that's rest. Rest to recover. This is usually the hardest thing to do for fighters and athletes. I know you wanna be training every minute of the day and you can't get the thought of your opponent out of your head. And as every minute passes that you're not training, you think you're losing valuable time, but here's the secret. If you do not rest properly and you don't listen to your body, you'll lose even more time by having to recover from a potentially bigger injury because you ignored the smaller injury by not properly resting. Let's look at a specific example. Take Conor McGregor in his last fight. I did a video about his broken leg and this is a bit on the extreme side because he could hardly ignore that injury, but let's just say he did and he ignored the experts and took the cast off early and didn't give his body time to rest. Extreme as it sounds, he could have lost that leg, but he did listen and he's smart and I hear he's doing very well and getting that leg strong again. Next is having a healthy diet. Make sure you're providing your body with the right vitamins, minerals, and nutrients, especially if you're injured. Your body's under extra stress trying to heal, so making sure you get a well-balanced, nutritious diet will help in the healing process. Getting the right vitamins and minerals in your body is key to recovering fast, no matter what your injury is. Next is ice. Ice is great for reducing the swelling. It's the first thing athletes and experienced fighters go to immediately after suffering an injury. But recently there's been more research done around ice therapy and they're showing that ice therapy in longer periods can actually harm the recovery. So experts have advised short periods of five minutes at a time to help with the pain. I'm gonna do a full video on showing you exactly how my husband Tony used to ice his hands after trying so many different methods. That put extra time on his boxing career. So subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss that video. Next is compression and elevation. That's explained in another of my videos, the RICE method. You've probably heard of that before and stands for rest, ice, compression and elevation. And I recommend all of these specifically in that order. The next tip is heat. Heat packs are great a couple of days or a week after the injury once the initial swelling has gone down. But like I said, applying the ice to reduce the pain and then you wanna start increasing the blood flow and loosening up that area to get that healthy blood circulation going. If you have access to a sauna, use it. The National Institute of Health performed quite a large study involving athletes from a college. The subjects all had experienced some sort of ligament tears and tendonitis or strains, and all of the athletes participated in a wide variety of sports, and they wanted to get back into training and get healthy as fast as they could. And the study that was published at the end of that used the spectrum of light to heal cognitive tissue injuries to speed up recovery to get them to return to play faster. Also, using topical creams like tiger ointment analgesics like lidocaine, non-steroidals like diclofenic, they can be prescribed by your physician. Um, these target specific areas of pain like your elbows, your shoulders, they really sink into that area and treat the injury close to the surface. The next tip is massage. It's one of those things that you may take for granted now depending on your injury, but you really shouldn't take it for granted. It actually is so underrated. It's proven to prevent muscle damage and joint injuries by smoothing out those adhesions, which if you do it regularly, it increases the circulation and those overused muscles and sore areas get increased circulation and it actually prevents the injuries in the first place. So please, yeah, taking care of your body by having regular massages, like deep tissue massages, it's so important. Now, before I tell you what you need to do to prevent most injuries, I wanna ask you, which has been your worst injury and how did you treat it? 
let me know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe. Okay, so what can you do to prevent most injuries? Remember what I said at the start about boxing being a full body workout? Well, people forget to warm up and cool down. They forget all the time to warm up their full body. They just do a few little kicks and like stretch their arms. A thorough warm up, warming up all of the muscles. You have to do it. You can't miss it out. Just doing like a little jog or like a few shoulder rolls, it's not gonna cut it. You've gotta spend a good 10 to 15 minutes on this warm up and you'll notice that your training sessions are gonna improve also. And as well as preventing injuries, you'll also notice that your training sessions are gonna improve so much by warming up. If you want to get a better night's sleep, which will also help you recover from your injuries, click here and watch this video for great tips on how to get the best night's sleep ever.